Hi Pisces and welcome to your what do you need to know reading. This is the Dream Medium. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? The Magician. What does Pisces need to know? Temperance, what does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? Pisces. Eight of Cups. Clarify the Magician. Clarify the Magician. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Nine of Wands. Clarify the Magician. Star, clarify the magician. On the back, the Empress. Hmm. Give me a second. Let me look into this. Yeah, you're manifesting. Yeah, you are. So the magician, okay? The magician is someone who is a doer. This is someone who will definitely put in the work, the effort to get the outcome that it is that they want, okay? The magician is also seen as someone who is manifesting. I do feel like you have a, you know, a really good idea of what it is that you want um, in your life. In Clarity of the Magician, you do have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a single energy. This is someone who isn't really focused on a particular person or focused on love. This is someone who is more so focusing on their work, finance, career, a project. I just see you simply working on yourself, focusing on yourself, and manifesting a better life for yourself. You do have the Nine of Wands here. So you went through a very troubled past, I see, because the Nine of Wands is someone who is wounded. This is a wounded warrior. So your past was, you know, not very kind to you. I actually feel like in your past, you had to defend yourself from a lot of BS, from a lot of people um, who didn't have your best interest. I see a lot of struggles. I see a lot of suffering from your past. You could have even been dealing with an individual or people who were the magician, people who were deceitful, okay? Um, people who were trying to be sneaky and control you and lie to you, people who were wearing a mask. But I see you being the magician now. I see you knowing exactly what it is that you want. And perhaps you had to go through that journey of deceit in order for you to truly understand what it is that you need and what you don't need, okay? So perhaps your past... Um, was an eye opener for you. You have the star that's uh, clarifying the magician. So the star is also another manifestation card. This is very beautiful. You are on your rightful path, okay? Even if you feel alone, even if you feel like people are not supporting you, because I get this sense of loneliness as I looked at the nine of pentacles. It's like someone who's on a journey, but they don't feel supported. They're going on this journey by themselves. My message to you is that you have everything that you need. You have all the abundance that you need. If we go back to the nine of pentacles, the maximum pentacles is 10 and you have all nine here by yourself. So you really don't need anyone. Um, you are here manifesting. The universe is on your side. God is on your side. You're very blessed. You're very abundant. You're walking in your rightful path. You have the star that's here. You have an excellent idea, a clear vision of what it is that you want. Um, so even if you don't have a friend or you don't have a support system, understand that you really have everything that you need to still manifest the life that you want. You have the two of cups. 
okay? The thing is, you are manifesting your rightful partner. You're manifesting a connection that's going to be an equal give and take, a requited, reciprocated connection. And that's exactly what the Two of Cups represents. The Two of Cups is representing two people who are mutually interested in each other. So if you came, you know, if in your past you were in an unrequited love situation, well, I have good news for you. You have an equal give and take connection that's headed towards you. And it's all because of your manifestation. So continue to do what you've been doing. I feel like on the back of the deck, you have the Empress. I feel like some of you in your past were being used. I do. I just feel like Pisces, the fact that you are the Empress, you are someone who is very kind, very nurturing, but most of all, you're very understanding. And I do feel like in your past, there was either a particular individual or people who were taking advantage of um, how understanding you were, how caring you were, um, how nurturing you were. And whoever they are, whoever this particular person is, they were draining the life out of you. They were taking away your light, well, not taking away your light, but it's like they were trying to lower your energy in order to dim your light. Um, and so one advice that I always give to people who carry the Empress energy is you are an empath. You're, you are naturally very caring, okay? You love others, you nurture others, but it is so important for you to know when to set very strict boundaries with people. It is so very important for you to know when to stop giving yourself to people who are not giving anything in return to you, okay? Because not everybody deserves your nurture. Not everybody deserves your understanding and your care. As a matter of fact, as an, as an empath, you attract people who are the exact opposite of you. Most times you attract people who are energy vampires. Those are people who feed off um, energies, people's energies. They get some sort of ego boost, some sort of self-esteem boost by, um, you know, making someone feel low, turning someone's energy into something negative. That is what an energy vampire is. They simply drain the life out of you, okay? So whatever was happening, I just feel like your past was very heavy, um, Pisces, but please be optimistic because better days are coming. On the back of the deck, you have the three of wands. Yeah, you're manifesting and you're patiently waiting for it to come forward. And it is. The three of wands is someone who is waiting for their ships to sail in. Okay, this is someone who's been waiting. You've been manifesting. You know what you want. Whatever it is that you've been manifesting, it could be a job. It could be better friends. It could be an ideal partner. They're headed towards you. Okay, clarify the temperance. Clarify the temperance. King of Wands, clarify the temperance. Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords. All right. They always come back, right? On the back, you have justice. People from our past always come come back when they see that we are moving forward. So the temperance is all about balance and harmony. A lot of you guys are really dealing with an energy vampire, someone who really feeds off your energy. It's like even if you give them a negative reaction, just any sort of reaction from you, it, it can boost their ego. So you're here as the temperance, minding your business, restoring balance and stability into your life. Okay, finally getting back in your element and feeling like yourself again. But guess who's creeping up behind you? Literally, you can see it here in the temperance. Okay, this magician here, you can see it here as well. As you're manifesting, as you're trying to restore balance, as you're trying to restore some harmony back into your life, you have the king of wands that's creeping up behind you. Okay. Please remember that these cards are not gender specific. Anyone can embody these energies. So if the reading is resonating and let's say you are a male dealing with a female and you feel like this reading is for you, then imagine the King of Wands is the Queen of Wands, okay? So this is someone from your past, definitely. I also feel like this individual tends to come in and out of your life. They come in when they feel that you are, you know, 
doing doing good now when they see that you are doing something good for yourself um they come back because they want to pull you right back where they left you okay the king of wands is someone who can be very defensive very forceful it could be someone who um is also hypersexual you know someone who's just really good with seducing you okay um i feel like you surprised this king of wands they did not expect you to get back on your two feet they did not expect you to become balanced again especially after what they did i told you you're dealing with someone who was literally trying to drain the life out of you the fact that you are restoring balance and harmony back into your life is a major shocker especially to this individual so that confirms that you really went through a lot pisces okay this king of wands here isn't very happy there's something that bothers them about seeing you have peace in your life okay i also feel like this king of wands is controlling this is this could also be someone who's very defensive um aggressive um i feel like this individual is aggressive or maybe they just have like a very hot temperament it's something about their energy that that is just very aggressive to me okay um i feel like this person is just mean or they can be very mean um and it's like they just they like to put you down in clarity of the temperance you have the king of swords or the knight of swords excuse me with the knight of swords this is them coming in super duper swiftly so this is what's going to happen if it's not happening already they're going to come in they're defensive they're watching you they're seeing that you are regaining stability back in your life they're not happy about it okay because it's telling them that perhaps they didn't drain all the life out of you Perhaps they, they didn't steal all of your energy. Perhaps they didn't do a good job at keeping you down. So they're coming back as the Knight of Swords, coming in very swiftly, unexpectedly. They're here as the Seven of Swords. They do not have good intentions for you, okay? The Seven of Swords is someone who is very sneaky, very deceitful. This could be someone who lies a lot, who cheats. Whatever it is that they do, they're very good at it because they're sneaky, okay? So they don't easily get caught. They're coming back in with, you know, they don't have good intentions for you at all. You even have on the back, you have the justice that's here. So please be careful with this individual because the justice card only comes out if there was an injustice or if there is going to be an injustice. I feel like this person is coming back to cause an injustice for you again. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Let's do that again. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Of course, the Emperor. Yep. Queen of Swords. Yep, I knew it. Even on the back, Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who took forever to come in, but they finally will. And it's so crazy because they finally are coming in, but they're still not even coming in with good, inten good intentions. So what happened to this individual? Why are they coming towards you? I, I see here that someone has left them. If this individual was in another relationship or connecting to another person, they have been broken up with. That connection has come to an end, okay? The Eight of Cups, I feel like this Eight of Cups is um, them. They had to walk away from a situation that they were investing a lot of their time into. So th for, for a lot of you, this is someone who they were really prioritizing over you. They were choosing to invest in this other situation with another person instead of investing in you. It did backfire. The Wheel of Fortune is here. So they got their karma and the connection ended between them and that other person. And that is why they're coming towards you as the emperor. The emperor is someone who likes control, who likes dominance. This this is someone who can even be very ruthless in order to get the control and dominance that they want all right 
One thing about the emperor is the emperor likes to appear as someone who is a leader, someone who's dominant, someone who has it all together in their life, but they actually don't. It's all a facade. They want people to see them as someone who is in control, but they really aren't. Most times the emperor is actually someone who is irresponsible and just doesn't have their life together. This person is coming towards you with a lot of mess from their life. This is someone who does not have their life together at all. They're literally leaving one situation and coming right towards you okay um, it's kind of you know it, it's, it's almost like there's they're seeing you as a rebound because how can you leave a connection one connection and quickly go towards another person you need to take some time out to heal and get your life together but that's not what they're trying to do they're trying to move straight towards you now that their other connection didn't work out you have the Queen of Swords. I don't feel like this Queen of Swords is you at all. If anything, I feel like the Queen of Swords is the other individual who they were dealing with, okay? They could have been dealing with a Queen of Swords or a King of Swords. They got cut, cut out. They got broken up with or some sort of separation, okay? And that was just their karma. That's why they're coming in towards you. I don't believe that this person has even recognized their karma, honestly. I just feel like this individual, they like to have options. So if one thing doesn't work out, they move on to, to the next person, okay? So Pisces, this is what I'm seeing for you, okay? This is what you need to know. I really hope this reading helps. Um, please remember, take what resonates and leave what does not because it is general. You're always welcome to visit my website and book a private reading with me. The link to my website is in the description box. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys so much and take care.